Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing good. Please wear mask and stay safe. I hope all your family members are safe. So let's get started with today's video. So today I'm going to show you how to install PHP spreadsheet in Codeigniter 3. So let's get started. So I have created this view. So firstly, I'll be showing you how to download Excel format. So if you will click on that, you can see in the bottom there is one Excel file that is downloaded. And if you will open that, there is a format that is downloaded. First one is serial number, then product name, quantity and price. So let me enter one row. First serial number is one. Product name, let's say kids growth, quantity 200 and price is 3000. So I'll be uploading that Excel file into my database. So let me show you first database. I have one product table and you can see I have some product already present there. So let's just upload this file. And now let's go and check in DB. So you can see kids cloth is present there. So our file, our product is basically added to database. So now third one is download Excel data. So click on that button and you can see another Excel file is downloaded with product name. If you will open that, you can see all those four that I have in my DB. All four products are present in my Excel sheet. So I'll be showing you all these three in detail in my video series. So now I'll be installing Composer from their website. So download composersetup.exe and also you can use command line to download that in your current directory. I'm just globally installing that. So open after download. So there will be a pop up. So click on next. So that's your zempphp.exe file it's taking. So it's checking your PHP file. So now just install this. So now it's installing just let it be. So it's almost done. Click on finish. So your composer is installed. So in your project folder now write composer version and hit enter now you can see there is one error that dev is like invalid so this error will be resolved in your composer.json file so if you will open that and you will check require dev in that you can see vfs vfs has capital s in it so just make it small so now let's go and check again. Now we can see composer version is there. So it's successfully installed already. So now let's just run one more command to install our PHP spreadsheet. So write composer require PHP office slash PHP spreadsheet. So it's installing now and in your project folder, you can see there is one vendor folder is added. And inside that you can see PHP office is present as like folder is there. So now PHP spreadsheet is present in your project folder. So how to use it? I'll be showing in my next video. So in this video, I have just shown you how to install composer and given overview of my video series. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. In my next video, I will show you how to download Excel format. So please keep watching.